hey your friends what's up uh, you're welcome to this channel this is coach UG and i'm just glad that you're here on this channel don't forget to click this subscription button over here so you will be able to support me in the other way around because well it makes me to give you the best content ever so welcome so let's get started all you need to do is one thing to get a server and the procedures of getting a server is just to search out with one server provider i use a uh, i use this i use a uh, dictation um there are many out there, there are many providers which are there, so you can buy one and you go out there, you buy one server of your choice. We are doing this because we want a, a private server and it is very fast and we don't we don't trust other providers, okay. You create a server, like I can create that of $20 per month, $15 per month, well you can create that of $5 per month depending on, uh, depending on how much uh, that uh, how much that uh, premium server provider charges you to connect to their server as well you activate the monitoring so all these uh, depends on where you're going to get a server so me i'm giving you depending on the provider use uh, i'll put the link in the description of this video so that you can sign up here you and uh, you try out your stuff uh, this also works uh, if you're going to develop an app and uh, you're going to use so after that the other thing, even if you're an Android user, uh, what I'm going to use next is the same. So you get that server's IP, like for instance, here, uh, I got the IP, it's here, and then I have the script, which I'm going to use. Okay, I made a video on how to install the script, and it's on this channel, so you can check out with that. And so, let's continue. Well, you open up uh, your server, your SSH client. I'm not going to show you this, but uh, if you're an Android user, you can uh, you don't need a, a computer to do that let's go to the android stuff um you can go to you can go to play store and download this application here it's called H, it's called um tam tamias that ah uh, you can download that and install as well you can uh, you can also uh, search for gssh it is the same or you can use an SSH client which you prefer, but as well, I recommend using Tamias. Well, you also need this application where you're able to use, this is uh, the easiest application I, I, I think on the market. It will help you uh, to run your server to create your own VPN using this injector you inject into the network. Okay, now let's go back. For me, I'm going to use a Windows server, so I'm going to use uh, this uh, SSH client. So. There are many out there. There are many out uh, SSH clients there, so you can try out yours. So when you install, uh, when you install the script, this is what happens. Um, even if you don't know, even if you don't know how to install the script, even if you, you whatever which uh, serves you. So the next thing is to create a user. I don't recommend you to use root as the user. In the other stuff. So you can create a user. You can create any user of your choice. You can enter name Scott UG. Okay. Enter. And then I create the password. Any password of your choice which you prefer. Sorry. Scott UG. And then I can enter the duration how this guy, how, um, how long will this account be active. I can say. 10 days this is in terms of days then the limit of connections i can say i want only two people to connect to this account i've created boom we are almost done so we click enter we have created our user details and uh, we can see them here um where are they six ah then the username is here, yeah, the password is QG and then uh, they use the, uh, the username is QG and then each and everything. Okay, let's enter continue. The other thing you need to do is to just place, uh, um, to just place three. So now here is where you need some technical knowledge. Well, you need what we call drop there, or you can as well use port 22. So this, you don't need this. After that, you just go back, uh, we just go back. We just copy this IP 
raise the IP of this server. Okay. Or you can just go back and copy the IP address which you entered there. The IP address which is here. Now copy it. If you're an Android user, I know you might have pasted it on your notepad. Uh, cancel. I don't want to do this. Then I can peacefully go back to my application, which is this. There are many out there. There are others which you can use, but I prefer this one for reasons okay now if you enter this you can paste uh, let's go back it's like i've rushed you come over here to settings and then you come to ssh now there are other ways you can use shadow shocks it is also it also works and it's more secure than ssh but i just wanted uh, i just thought maybe a beginner you paste your ip and then you create your port you can enter 22 okay username remember we created scott ug with capitulator okay and then for the password uh, as well i'll use scott ug remember we use the small letters so i remove the caps lock and then enter scott ug okay uh-huh okay then we go back, back, back. Okay, then we ca you come back here. Uh, HTTP proxy, custom, whatever. You select uh, dialect, custom from, connect from dialect, direct to the server. Then you click connect. Boom. Let's see if we can. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Uh, had messed up with the IP. I can delete this. I can delete this. I put the right IP. I save. Well, I go back. I click start, and we see if we shall get connected. Still. Well, let's click start and see if we shall be connected. The only thing we need to do is to click start and see if we shall be connected. So we can see over here that we are already connected to our server and uh, our server is running smoothly and smartly. We can test that um, by checking our IP by going to um, any browser of your choice if you're an Android user, my IP. You enter that. Well, you cancel this advert. Let's go back uh, to Google. Uh huh. When you look at this IP, it's the same IP which I've inserted into. You can also verify by going to this website and see that uh, well, we are using we are using a uh, digital ocean. Sorry about that. So you can see that I've showed you how you can create your own VPN and. Uh, you're already connected each and everything is working you can just uh, try out and uh, try out on social media and the other stuff so there we go you can as well help you out your friends uh, um, to get them more accounts onto your server by just uh, creating more uh, more account here by okay me control C I clear this well, I'm making this video for just someone who doesn't know anything about coding. So, now you can create as well another user and so on and so on and so forth. So, that's it. Um, I think I'm done here. We'll meet in another video. Chat this.